two things. Firstly, you have access to the data that I'm using for this particular example. So you can practice this at home, right? It's the MPG data set, it's built into R, and I'm gonna show you how you can access that. Secondly, I'm gonna give you access to all of the code that I'm using, right? So you don't have to sit and worry about kind of trying to take notes. You can, you'll be able to see all of the data that I'm using. I've got it on a web page. It's got little annotations with explanatory notes, et cetera, et cetera. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, right? So that said, let's jump right in. Let's start looking at the code to produce this table. As always, I've loaded the tidyverse package. I've also loaded the GT extras package. Uh, you actually don't need to load the uh, GT package that actually comes with GT extras. That's a little bit superfluous, um, but you, you've got to load your packages first. Let's jump right in. Let's talk about how to do the, the tables. The first part of the code is really the data wrangling that I did in order to create the table itself. And I'm not gonna go into a lot of detail with respect to that right now, because uh, this isn't a video about data wrangling, but I'll just briefly say, you know, we've filtered the data just to one year, 2008. We've grouped by class, we've summarized it and created a couple of summary variables. Um, if you do not understand what I'm doing over here with the summary, summarize function, et cetera, et cetera, go and watch other videos that I've got all about the tidyverse and dplyr, et etc. et cetera. I can't get into that in this video. So I'm assuming you're comfortable with tidyverse packages uh, to start with. Um, I've done something that's probably a little bit repetitive in the sense that I've created a variable called efficiency rating, and I've said use the case when function. And by the way, I've got a video about case when, so if you find that confusing, go and watch that. Um, and for uh, I've just I've created a categorization high, medium, and low for fuel efficiency. And then below that, I've created these little icons and I've used case when again, and I've said efficiency rating, if it's high, use the up arrow. If it's if it's medium, uh, use the little square. And if it's low, use the down arrow. Um, I'm not gonna get into the nuts and bolts of that in this video, but please go and watch my video on case when if you find that confusing. What I wanna talk about is the GT extras package to create the table itself. And so let's jump right into that. So if we scroll down here, the first thing I've done is I've, is I've, I've just said, uh, GT, right? So let's go up a bit. If I take away this pipe operator and I just ran that code as it is over there, control enter, it produces an output down here in the console and it's pretty ugly. Okay, not pretty, nothing to write home about, not very exciting. I put in the pipe operator and then I'm gonna remove the pipe operator here to show you what happens when I just add nothing else but just the GT function. And you can see on the on the right over here, it's created a table hmm. a little bit better, still not great, um, but certainly an improvement. We don't have headings. 